Ew! What is that smell? It's awful! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Too much cheese! Ugh! I wish I could lose my sense of smell just for a while. <laughs> then what? Hmm, you know, that's actually a great question, little kitty. So, let's dive into that mystery to answer. What if you lost your sense of smell? Zoom in! Imagine waking up one day and realizing the scent of pancakes. The earthly aroma of rain or even the stink of gym socks is completely gone. That's life with anosmia, a condition where you lose your sense of smell. But before exploring this scentless world, let's first understand how smelling works. You see, everything around us releases tiny molecules into the air. These molecules eventually enter our nostrils, where the nasal cavity works to filter out dust and other particles. At the very back of your nose, lies the olfactory epithelium, a small but crucial patch of tissue packed with specialized neurons called olfactory receptor cells, which act like scent detectives. When an odor molecule reaches this area, it dissolves in a layer of mucus and binds to the receptor cells that get activated. This causes them to send electrical signals through the olfactory nerve via the olfactory bulb and along the olfactory tract. These signals are then processed in different regions of your brain, including the amygdala, thalamus and orbitofrontal cortex, where they are interpreted as specific smell. This direct connection explains why smells can instantly trigger memories, emotions, or even your fight or flight response. Now you might think of smell as just a bonus sense, nice to have, but not essential. In reality, it's critical to many aspects of life. For starters, smell works hand in hand with taste to create the flavors you enjoy. Without it, your favorite foods would taste flat and uninteresting, like chewing on flavorless cardboard. Beyond taste, smell alerts you to dangers like smoke from a fire, a gas leak, or spoiled food. So, without it, you'd need to rely on alarms, expiration dates, or sheer luck to avoid trouble. Speaking of which, for various reasons, this crucial sense can become impaired or lost altogether in a condition called anosmia. Yes, anosmia can be caused by something as simple as a cold or allergies which block scent molecules from reaching your olfactory neurons. More serious causes include brain injuries, neurological conditions like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease, or congenital anosmia, being born without a sense of smell. Aging, smoking, and certain medications can also reduce your ability to detect odors. When you lose this vital sense, it can make everyday life more difficult. You'd miss out on small joys like the smell of fresh flowers or your favorite meal. Worse, you might not notice spoiled food or milk, increasing the risk of food poisoning. You might also fail to detect dangers like smoke in your home or workplace, or exposure to gas or harmful chemicals. The good news, most cases of anosmia are temporary. Treating the underlying cause such as clearing a sinus infection, 
often restores your ability to smell. However, for some, the loss can be permanent. So, make sure to protect your sense of smell by avoiding smoking and maintaining overall health to lower the risk of colds or infections. Next time, you can catch a whiff of rain, cookies or pine. Take a moment to appreciate this incredible system. Trivia time! Did you know about 1000 people in the United States have congenital anosmia? Also, a dog's olfactory epithelium is 20 times larger than that of a human. To know more, check out on our nostalgic video on dogs. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Mira Kulbe. Hope you discovered something crucial today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox. Zooming out! Never mind.